Okay, in this uh, sample, I'm gonna show you how we can use the DALI image generator API from, from SPFX, from a SharePoint web part. First of all, a very quick about me. My name is Luis Manier. I work as a chef architect at Clear People, a UK-based company, although I'm working from Spain. I'm a um, Microsoft MVP in M365 development and also a usual contributor in this amazing community. Uh, you can find me in social network as Luis Manes, so feel free to pin me. I'm always happy to, to chat. Okay, I'm sure we all know, but just in case, um, LALI2 is an, an AI system that can create images uh, from a description in, in natural language. And actually, it has uh, four main features. Uh, the most well known for sure is the image generation. So you can enter a, a text description and, and it generates an, an image. So you say something like an astronaut riding a horse in a photorealistic style and you get an image of an astronaut and kind of a horse. And also the second main feature is that you can expand an existing image. So you can post any image and say what you want and and the service is going to give you an, an expanded image. Also, you can create an edit of an existing image. So you can say something like in this area, I want to um, fill the image with this object or whatever, and uh, you get the, the image edited. And finally, uh, it allows you to create a, a variation of any specific image. Uh, there's currently a service in Azure, the Azure OpenAI, um, but I'm not using it in, in this sample because even if it's already in, in GA, um, you need to register in Microsoft, and Microsoft needs to approve in order to, to use the service, and that's not my case yet. So I'm using the OpenAI uh, service uh, directly. Um, this is the billing model for the OpenAI, this is not for free. I mean, uh, when you create your account, likely you're gonna get some free credits. And uh, I think this is still working that way. But after that, uh, you obviously need, need to pay and uh, you're gonna pay per image generated in, in this case, and also um, per the resolution of that, of that image. There's currently three support resolutions. So regarding the resolution and, and the image, you're, you're gonna pay. Uh, as I said, you need to create an account in the OpenAI portal and uh, configure um, a billing method as well. And after that, you need to generate an API key. Uh, and once you have the key, you're, you're good to go and you can, you can call the API. If you want to generate an, an image using the DALI API, you're going to need to do a post request through API openAI.com the one images generations. And in the body, you need to include the, the test description of the image and the maximum length is 1000 characters. The number of images you want to generate, the maximum is 10 images in, in one request. Also the size of the images, and you have three options like small, medium or large, let's say. And also the response format, uh, it can be a URL or a base 64 string. So you can get a, a, a public URL with the generated image or a base 64 string. And also you can send a, a user, which is any string that identifies your, your end user. It, it's used internally by the, by the service to monitor and, and detect abuse. So let's see it in action. I want to show you first using just Postman. And uh, so in here in Postman, you can see I'm doing a post request to the image generation URL. So in the body, you pass the test as a prompt. Uh, I want to generate a couple of images, the small size, the response format URL, and uh, any string as, as a user. So um, I'm passing the header in the header the, the API key. If everything goes fine, yeah, here we have the, the two different images that, by the way, if you take a look to the URL, it looks like an Azure storage uh, URL, right? So, well, if you click in the, in the image, 
And uh, yeah, also there's another there's another request here, so you just can see the, the result in the case that you are asking for a base64 uh, data in the response. So this is the image in, in base64 format. Okay, let's jump in into the web part. So um, web part is running in the in the local workbench currently. So uh, let's enter an, an image description. So I have here some prompts. Let's save some money. So let's generate a couple of images and in the small size. So we click on generate images. And hopefully we should get a couple of images. Yeah. An old painting by Matisse of a humanoid robot playing chess. Very nice. And also um, you can click on the image. And the image is saved to the documents library, so we can open the, the image and if we go to the document library, it should be there. Yeah, it is. So, well, uh, you can imagine marketing a marketing person with this web part generating multiple images, a story in, in SharePoint and then creating content uh, pages using these, these images. I think it's is something that actually at some point it would be integrated in, in SharePoint out of the box. Um, so this is how the web part the web part goes. So let me jump back into the slides. Um, let's take a look to the source code. These are the, the couple of calls that um, I have in Postman. So hopefully you can see it a bit better here, but anyways. Is just a call, a post with a different with a different uh, data in in the body, and uh, what you get in in result with the URL images or base 64. So uh, first of all, I've just created a couple of uh, classes for modeling the um, image request and response. So in the request, you can see I have the prop, the number of images, size, and and response format. And also the same for the for the response with the different images in, in an array. And in my case, I'm using the base 64 because actually when using the, the URL format, I wasn't able to uh, change the image source attribute when getting the response from the API. I don't remember exactly, but it was something uh, blocking it from the from the browser. So the solution was to use the base 64 stream and and this is what I'm doing. And now there's a service class. Uh, this is the class that is actually dealing with the daily API and also the, the SharePoint. So I'm using dependency injection. So I'm using the service scope and also I'm using the HTTP client from SPFX to call the, the API. And you can see here the different imports from the awesome PMPJS library to deal with SharePoint in order to, to save the images. So just a couple of methods, generate images and save the image to, to the document library. In the case of the service, uh, in the constructor, again, I'm just resolving the different services from the DI container and also configuring the, the PMPJS. And as you can see, the save image to the site assets library is just using PMP. So I'm getting the documents library and, and adding the, the file. And after that, I'm just getting the, the full URL of the uh, image stored in, in SharePoint. And the main method for generating the images when calling DALI is this one. So I'm configuring the, the headers with the API key as, as the authorization is, is using the, the authorization header. And I'm doing the post uh, request to the URL and sending the, the image data that I want to, to get. And then I'm just uh, re returning the, um, the array of the different images. Now we are already in the in the SPFX web part. So in the only need a method I'm configuring all the DI stuff with the um, uh, service scope and also the PMP and and my service, uh, which is passed to a React component. In the React component, we have a bunch of Fluent UI controls for all the UI, the text area, and slider, and and so on. And then 
we have here the, the method that is getting the request using the, the service, uh, nothing too, too fancy here. And finally, this is the code that is getting the, the URL of the, sorry, the base 64 image and, and rendering in the in the screen. The interesting part here is that I'm converting the base 64 string to a to a blob in the in the browser and getting the, the URL. These are these three lines on here. And to convert the base 64 string to blob, I'm just using a, a third party package uh, installed using npm, which is called blob util which actually has uh, quite a few utilities around, around Blob, so a really good one. And that's actually everything regarding the code. Uh, the sample is already available in the SPFX GitHub repository, so uh, you can download and use it and give it a try and let me know any, any issue. And that's all. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me today. Back to you. That's a fantastic sample. Thank you, Lewis. Um, I, I, you know, just remember everyone uh, with great power comes great responsibility. Make sure to use your uh, DALI AI API uh, responsibly. Mm -hmm.